Okay, I, I just screwed up uh, the video the first time, so I'm doing this all again. It's very annoying. <laughs> but I, I thought I'd do a quick update on uh, the AD5791 uh, boards I've been working on and the third revision, um, which now seems to be kind of bodge free. I still have a problem with it because I think the DACs are, are broken. And basically, I think uh, I've blown up the DACs um, by screwing up the, the rail voltages. Um, the problem basically is, I, is I'm not using, I haven't been using my lab uh, current supply, current limited uh, supply, uh, power supply. Um, and I've been kind of lazy. I'm using this uh, kind of setup, which is... Um, like a, a lead acid battery setup so there's two lead acids back to back that provide like the split rails for plus minus um 12 volts for the DAC and um uh and for the op amps and stuff so i'm using that but the thing is like you know lead acid batteries actually can surprise <laughs> supply a surprising amount of current um so if you wire things up wrong uh, you know, it's, it's very bad, and it tries to, you know, if it'll push <laughs> push through as long as it can, and it'll blow things up. Um, so you can actually see on this one, like it'll do things like it's just blown traces right off the board, and I, I've had that quite a lot. You know, when I've shorted things out and stuff, um, it's just put it can push out so much current that it will kill things quite badly. Um, so I keep trying to switch out the DAX to see if I've got a DAC that still works, um, but uh, you know they all seem to be broken in different ways like one will only work in for ne negative voltage everything is shifted negative and then one is shifted positive and then another one will just respond to spi but i don't get any output so my best guess is that the dax are blown um everything else seems fine rail voltages seem fine the plus minus 10 volt references are fine the 5 volt reference is fine everything else is is working um so I've ordered some more, and it's very annoying because they're quite expensive. Um, they're somewhere in the region of like fifty dollars, so thirty-six quid is what they cost me in the UK, um, which is actually cheaper than DigiKey, surprisingly. Uh, this is through Far Now, so hopefully those will come tomorrow, and it'll all work, and everything will be fine. Um, but I thought I'd do a video uh, just on the evolution of a board. I think it, it seems to take me three versions of a board to get things right. And that's partly, I think, because I don't check things very carefully because I'm more um, more inclined to get things out quickly and then go, you know, do something on another project and then won't fit the boards to come up, do the bring up, find out what I did wrong, you know, get things out quickly because boards take two weeks to come anyway, kind of make, makes sense to me to do that. So this was the first version. Um, uh, just to give a very quick overview of the board, there's a five volt reference that comes in here, and then this is um, uh, converted into plus minus ten volt references by these two op amps. Um, those plus minus ten volt references head into a, another op amp here, which just sits in front of a DAC, um, and the DAC does some kind of feedback on those references. I'm not hundred percent clear on what that does, to be honest. Um, but it, it, this DAC, this op amp works in conjunction with the DAC to, to provide uh, plus minus ten volt references, and then there's a another um, op amp on the output of a DAC, um, and the DAC provides a kind of differential input, I guess, for that op amp, um, to supply an output, and that just lets you source a bit more current uh, from that output stage. Um, so in this first version, I completely bodged up the wiring around this op amp, so it needed a new revision. It needed need a new revision anyway. So this that was, so this second version fixed that issue. So this op amp was then wired correctly. I also changed the layout slightly. I I moved the DAC over uh, to this side of the board a bit, um, which gave me a bit more room uh, for routing. I th think. I don't know, I can't remember quite why I did that. I think it gave me more room for routing like the digital stuff and also 
um, shifted the DAC a bit bit closer to the, uh, the output. Um, also, I changed all the pads, so I used bigger pads, so it was easier to hand solder things. Because uh, that was a slight issue with the first revision. Um, what else did I do? I think that was about it. Uh, you can see all these resistors, uh, resistor pads, some of which are unpopulated. Those are basically just to route the control signals uh, through to different points on the Arduino. This is an Arduino shield, so it just lets you configure the borders in X, Y, or Z. So you have like the control signals routed differently, so you can use up to three boards at the same time. Um, so that was that version. And then this is the current version, which seems more or less fine. Um, there was an issue with... Uh, there was one trace under this op-amp that was kind of shorted through accidentally to the to the pads. Um, and that's basically because I hadn't run the DRC properly. So this, this version fixes that. And uh, also I added a couple of other... Um, Kind of patches so this this uh, zero ohm resistor here lets you select between 5 volt and 3.3 volt lines for the for the, the digital side of the DAC um, and that's just yeah so because I was, was thinking about running on a 3.3 volt Arduino um, that's part of why the reason why I've done it as an Arduino shield is I can move it around to different devices so that selects you lets you select the different um, uh, different voltages for the digital side and uh, what else did I do oh I added these pads these these zero ohms here so if the SPI lines needed pull ups or pull downs I could add them but I don't think I do need them so that was fine um, yeah so that's it really um, just kind of how this board has evolved so far uh, I think I hope this will be the fi the final kind of functional <laughs> functional change i think i want to go over the layout a bit because obviously it's 20-bit dac it's, it's a precision dac um and i think i may need to change the layout to kind of reduce noise and things um but uh yeah there should be another update at some point when i get these new uh dac chips in and we'll see if everything uh if it really was the dacs that were causing the issue um, and if so, that will hopefully be the final version.